guys, it's Kaylee. So today I will be taking you through a full makeup tutorial of how to get this dark gothic makeup look. And at the end of the video, I'll be showing you how to do this short updo hairstyle as well. All right, so let's get started. I am using the Ofra Professional eyeshadow palette for today's look. Picking up our very first shade, which is a neutral medium brown. Work this from the lash line up into the crease, basically everywhere all over the eye except for the very tip of the brow bone. And what this is gonna do is work as a base for us to be able to kind of darken things up more. So make sure you really work on a good layer of this and then pick up a black cream shadow. This one from e.l.f. Cosmetics is very cheap and easy to get and I have used it multiple times specifically for a smoky eye and it always works great. It stays put and it is pretty easy to blend out if you blend it out immediately after putting it on, which is why I am only working on one eye at a time for this. I am not letting it dry before I can get to it. So I'm using a pretty big fluffy brush to blend this out, mostly in the outer corners, a little bit in that inner corner there. And if you find that you have a harder time blending this out, all you have to do is just hold your eye taut very gently, just kind of pull it to the side. If you have smaller eyes like me and you find that you can't really you know, get into those tiny little spaces. We'll be going over this with more shadows, so if this you know, starts to kind of look not as black, that's totally okay. You mainly just wanna focus on blending out that outer corner. Once you've softened the edges, you can now go in with a dark brown eyeshadow. I'm just using the same eyeshadow brush as before and working this into that outer corner area. Personally for me, I found that about like two layers of this was good enough but I needed more blackness directly in my crease area. So I added just a little bit of black eyeshadow there and then went through without picking up any additional shadow and blended that through. So again, you're just gonna blend through about two layers of a dark brown, go into the crease directly with a black shadow and then blend that out without picking up any additional product. Okay, see, so that wasn't so bad. Now we are working on the winged eyeliner. I actually just decided to use my e.l.f. Cosmetics uh, Gel Cream Eyeliner in black for this, the same exact thing that I put on my lids. The only exception is now that we have blended that shade out, it's kind of like a darker gray. So when you put this on as a winged eyeliner, it's gonna be super black, which is exactly what you want. If you guys just saw there, I had to actually pick up more product to be able to finish my wing. A quick tip for you guys, before even starting to do the wing, definitely pick up a good amount of product first. So for my lashes today, I'm actually wearing different ones, guys. I know you'll be surprised. I got some new ones. These are from Eyler. They are in, I brought it up. Let's see, lengthening eyelashes in 155. I got them from Ulta. Using a little bit of my Honest Beauty Truly Lush Mascara to blend my natural lashes into these brand new falsies. Then with a clean blending brush, I am now going through the inner corner part of the crease and applying just a tad bit more of that very first neutral medium brown shadow just to help blend everything in better all together. I'm working this on the outer corner a little bit as well. Also going through darker brown in the outer corner with a new blending brush. I stress a new blending brush for this part because you don't want to be adding any additional black or anything like that from your other blending brushes. So grab a different brush for that so you're not darkening things up too much and it's like, ah, too scary, too dark. Primer that I used for my face was the Smashbox Photo Finish in Light. And for the very first time, I'm going in with these really cool, super-sized, oval brushes or toothbrush makeup brushes, whatever you guys want to call them. I was just so curious about them. I got them from Zaffle and I wanted to try it out on camera with you guys for the first time. So I'm using one of the biggest brushes here to blend in my Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation in 6.5 Buttermilk, which is pretty light for me. I definitely wanted to use something that was more on the lighter side though so that it would give a nice contrast between you know the super dark lip and, and the dark eye. I thought it did an amazing job, really surprisingly amazing job at blending out my foundation. It looks exactly as it does when I use my beauty blender or blending sponge, so I was pretty happy with that. With a smaller brush, I'm using 
the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye in Neutral Medium as my concealer today, blending that through the under eye area and also alongside my nose to get rid of any shadows there up into the inner corner of the eye, down the bridge of the nose, middle of the forehead, and a little bit on the chin and cupid's bow of the lip just so that I can get some nice highlight going on since I am not going to be using any powder highlighting products today. I want the face to be completely matte and I want the focus to be on the eyes and the lips so we're not really doing much to the face. So here I'm going through uh, with a little bit of LA Girl Pro HD Concealer in Almond. This is going to go through the hollows of the face. So around the jawline area, cheekbones, a little bit on the edges of the forehead, and also to slightly contour my nose. I'm using a different brush for this. It's in the medium-sized family. thought it did a pretty good job of blending everything out. And then this tiny little bugger right here. Look how tiny he is, he's so cute. I used him to blend out the contour on my nose and then went back through with the same brush that I used to blend out the bronzer and then went back through with the brush I had used for the highlight through the bridge of the nose just to kind of make sure that everything was exactly looking the way that I wanted it to. Powdered over everything with this Makeup Forever HD High Definition Powder. This is actually really great, I found, if you're doing a lighter makeup look because the powder is so bright white. It basically just sets everything in place so that it doesn't move and so that it stays mattified. And then I also used my Super CC Plus Physicians Formula Light to Medium Powder on the sides of my nose and under the eyes to get some more brightness there. And also as a matte highlight on my brow bones. All right, so here I'm working on the lower lash line already. <laughs> I'm going through with the dark brown eyeshadow first, then blending that out. And now you can see me going in with the black eyeliner. I'm going all the way through the inner to outer corners of the waterline with this and also a little bit onto the outer edges of the lower lash line, just really making sure to deepen and darken that area. Finished it off with some mascara that was Julep Length Matters. And I decided to darken my eyebrows just a little bit more too to match with the dark makeup because I felt like they were just a little bit too light and needed to be more defined, especially on the outer edges there. As for my lipstick, I know you guys already guessed, I wanted to use my black eyeliner again for this. This time I decided to use the uh, Makeup Geek Full Spectrum Eyeliner Pencil in Obsidian. I line the outer corners and then completely fill in my lips. So for the bottom lip, I just line it as per usual, my normal routine, and then the top lip, I slightly overline just the points, and then I like line it back up with the rest of my lip as I go down and then I fill the rest of that in. Over top of this, I used the NYX Suede, Liquid Suede Cream Lipstick in Club Hopper, but this was very, very shiny on me and it just, I wanted it to be more matte. So what I decided to do after applying a pretty good heavy layer of it was blotted it out with a paper towel and bam, that's it guys. That's how you get the matte lip look sprayed my face with some Makeup Forever Mist and Fix. Moving on to the hair tutorial portion, I put in two wefts of shorter hair extensions that I cut myself. I really wanna do more shorter hairstyles for you guys, so that is why I decided to you know, cut these so that I could actually have hair to be able to work with and create really cool styles with. So if you have thin hair too, then that is definitely a good option because you don't even feel them in and they're pretty easy to put in as well. They're just from Lexi Hair. I'll put the link down below. So all I'm doing here is just teasing the crown section of my hair and making sure to bring out those pieces of bangs near the front. Bring back that crown section of hair that you teased, tie it with an elastic, then make a tiny hole right above the elastic in the middle of your head and bring the ends through that hole and then just kind of adjust it. You can actually just leave your hair like this. This is a super cute hairstyle, but to keep going with the updo, you just want to repeat that same process. So grab a little bit more hair from both sides, tie it in an elastic in the middle and make a tiny little hole. Well, I guess it's already a hole. Just put the ends through and then uh, tighten it a little bit and do any adjusting that you need to. 
So for the ends of your hair, split it in half and on both sides just tie it in a regular braid. If you don't have enough hair to be able to do this, just twist it. Just split it in half and then twist one piece of hair around the other and then just for either or for the braid or the twist, you just want to pull everything apart, kind of massage it out, make it look bigger and tie it with an elastic to hold it in place. So again here I'm just doing a regular braid and then using my fingers to pull it apart. And what this is gonna do is help to give more fullness to your hair. So it's a great technique if you do happen to have really thin hair to make it appear as if you have more. After securing it, go ahead and crisscross. So lay one braid on top of the other in the back and there is your tiny little bun back there. So just go ahead and pin that in place and it really is as simple as that guys. It looks super intricate, really beautiful, like you spent so much time but really, you know, it was like, I don't know, what was that, like two minutes? It doesn't take long at all. And for the bangs, I just decided to curl them away from my face using my Numi clipless curling wand. I will link that down below for you guys as well. Hopefully you guys like this look. If you did, please leave a like down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.